This uh, video version of an article I wrote for my website, available there for download, free reading, is an attempt to describe from where I got these rings. The accompanying music is from uh, Krishna Das, Flow of Grace, Ring Song, for which I am grateful and glad. Where did you get that ring? Where'd you get that ring? I know mine, won't you tell me where you got that ring? Where did you get that ring? Where did you get that ring? The earth rings upon which this piece is based are from the geometric models developed by the United States Geological Survey from earthquake cadence as their rumble ricocheted through our, the interior of our beloved planet. Welcome to Earth Rings. In this piece, we will explore how these rings show themselves in myth, architecture, and biology. The Enneagram is an Earth ring geometric. The Enneagram is a teaching model used in psychology and metaphysics. The Enneagram's nine points generate four polygonal shapes whose scribed rings mark the consecutive rings of our Earth's interior. This equatorial cross-section of the Earth's sphere is a two-dimensional model of an omnidimensional being, Terra, Earth, Gaia. classic Enneagram geometry, we see the three-dimensional vortexual dynamic emerge. Its nine points correlate to three latitudes in the north and or south poles of the Earth. On the 30th parallel, we find the Great Pyramid and the Earth's Coriolis effect, the spin dynamic of Earth's weather patterns. On the 50th parallel, we find Stonehenge and Avebury, and on the 70th, is approximately where the Arctic and Antarctic rings are. In this image, we see a map of the world. On it is overlaid the Earth Grid Universal Vector Geometry, or UVG. Note how the Enneagram's parallels resonate with the major points of this Earth grid. Notice how the 30th parallel north keys off major river deltas. On the 30th, the Colorado River becomes the Gulf of California. The Mississippi empties into the Gulf of Mexico, and the Nile into the Mediterranean Sea. It is on this line that the Euphrates becomes the Persian Gulf. In the headwaters of the Holy Ganges, is formed as well as the delta of the Yang Tees of China. The human form is also a fractal expression of our earth rings. We are made in its image and likeness. We dance the earth rings round our lives as we move as mobile megaliths upon its surface. We are the Earth. The spiralic geometry, the vortex of the sunflower, projects its Earth rings and follows the sun through the day. A mathematical life form the sunflower personifies the god number, the phi proportion, as do humans, eggs, trees, shells, and life in total. This life number, template, proportion is also seen in the earth ring. <laughs> Throughout the ages, humanity has sought to commune with the planet. You can see from this how the Great Pyramid was designed to connect directly with the Earth and access its bioelectric power. 
Through these rings we can grow with the earth and understand our place in the matrix of creation. Understand the dance of the earth and moon and really all of creation. Earth rings are part of the great mystery, a mystery that is still unfolding. These same earth rings can be overlaid on the rings of Stonehenge. See how they match precisely the earth's core dynamic. As a solar temple and vortex engine, the sun's charged photons are infused in planet B, promoting enlivened health of life in the field and of the home. Through humanity, who dances and sings in resonant frequency with its stone rings, the earth and its people thrive, generating a unified field of consciousness between the earth, its people, and its place in the dance of planets. This dance, this dance of the planet, is also played out in the Dendera ceiling in the Temple of the Hathors in Luxor, Egypt. Here we see that ring pattern being upheld by the Hathors, dance round by the gods and constellations, and centered on the great star serpent Draco, entwined in our cosmic tree, connecting Earth core to the axis of the world. So these rings play out in mythology, in architecture, and in our bodies, in nature, in time itself. <laughs> Aztec calendar stone, used as symbol of the emerging fifth world, also has earth rings coded into its template of time, just in case we might forget the great mother at this change of time, thought to be in the now of 2012. Earth rings are here to assist us on our path. Dance, sing, spin, create great medicine wheels, make circles in the land, walk in labyrinths. These all generate earth rings. From these earth rings, we can grow, go to places of power, be a ground for this new energy that is emerging in this great world of ours. No that you are the consciousness of the planet. Know that you can affect the planet. Know that the power is within you to communicate with our great world and spread this like a ripple across the land. Know it and use it in peace and wholeness and light. On my website and others, you can find templates to use. You can find places to go to. You can also douse for these in your backyard. Earth rings emerge from the land as vortexes, matching the rings of the center of the earth, like a photographic projection on a sheet of film. Douse for these and heal them wherever you find them. Empower them wherever you find them. Because the earth rings are us. Vortexes are us. Welcome to earth rings. Earth rings were brought to you by the creator. The background music was from the album Flow of Grace by Krishna Das. And I am Pete Shampoo. Bidding you adieu.